but Hormuz is joining us to give us an update on the Canadian Pension Fund and the India exposure that it has. Hormuz, over to you. Morning, Sonia. It's quite a significant exposure as well. And as per the data that we have, it comes up to around 1.3 lakh crore rupees in both listed and unlisted entities. Well, I'll start off with the listed ones first. And the most significant name that comes up is Kotak Mahindra Bank. And that investment goes back a long way because in 2015, the Canadian Pension Fund had invested over a billion Canadian dollars in the bank. And as of the 30th of June, it had close to 2.7% stake, which was valued at over 9,500 crore rupees. Now, most of the other names in this list are new age companies where it was either a pre-IPO investor or an anchor investor during the IPO. I'll start off with delivery first and it had an 8% stake in 2019 which it had acquired at a billion and a half dollar valuation. It had a 7% stake at the time of its IPO in 2022 and now it has a 6% stake which is valued at close to 1900 crore rupees. Zomato is the other name where it was an anchor investor in the IPO and that 2.4% stake that it owns is now worth over 2000 crore rupees. Now Paytm's IPO had made a lot of noise when it had came out. Uh, it was the largest IPO before L I see. And here as well, the CPPIB was an anchor investor. It even increased its stake in the March 2022 quarter when share prices were on a downhill tre downward trend. And as of date, it has a 1.7% stake, which is valued at close to 1,000 crore rupees. Next up is Nika, where it again was an anchor investor in the IPO. It increased its stake in November last year. And the current stake is valued at over 600 crore rupees. And Indus Towers is the other name where it has close to 2.2% stake currently. Now, these were the Indian listed names. Now, as of the uh, 13F filings that they made, they also have an exposure to Indian listed companies in the US and those are Infosys, Wipro and ICICI Bank and those ADRs, they have investments tuning to over 10 to 20 million dollars. Now these were listed names. Now among the unlisted names also, some significant names here include the Kotak Infrastructure Investment Fund, the National Highways Infra Trust and a joint venture with Tata Realty and Infra. Back to you. Alright, thanks a lot Hormuz for that. We have just